And when we left off, we were um, talking about people that violated and you no know, major violation. Man. And I know about maybe what, 10 years ago, uh, it was alleged that someone had an affair with LeBron James' mom. Um, would you like to uh, elaborate <laughs> on that? <laughs> so, so, supposedly it was Delonte West, and I hope that brother's doing well. I've seen a couple of videos of him uh, not doing so well. I, I hope he's better now. Um, supposedly he was dating LeBron. I don't know how true that is. I've never heard him say it, but that's what they were saying was the whole breakup of the Cleveland team. <sighs> that would be total violation, too. I think that that's probably worse than uh, the Matt Barnes situation. <laughs> Could you imagine coming home with your teammates sitting there having a glass of wine with your mom? That's just too crazy, man. <laughs> that's crazy. But who hit on who, though? That's what I want to know. Doesn't matter. Oh, you a snake, yo. What? You know? Doesn't mom, matter. Yo, mom. Mom need love, too. Mom, <laughs> yo, listen. Mom, mom might have been like, yo, hey, young boy. You looking good over there in that nah, tank top. That must be a Bronx thing. I would no, say it ain't no, no, it ain't no, it ain't no Bronx <laughs> thing. Man, no, watch your mouth, man. Watch your mouth. Now, I know I'm a situation, but I ain't going to even blow it up because I know people be listening to this podcast, but I remember being in junior high school and there was something crazy going on like that. But, you know, like, again, I'm, I'm going to shut my mouth. It must be a Harlem thing. Nah, the, the, <laughs> nah that's what I'm saying. It must be a bro. Nah, that, that goes on all around the world. Um, in Baltimore, you have, like, the thing about it is, is, like, a lot of parents have their kids at early ages, so – when they're at a certain age, they don't look like they're at a certain age. And I remember when my mom used to come to my basketball games, and she looked at younger than her age. <laughs> I used to get so oh, mad. Yeah. I can only imagine. What people used to say, like, because a lot of people didn't know it was my mom. Like, so I'm like, yo, that's my mom. Yo, what you just say? So it's like, I don't remember how LeBron's mom looked at the time, but I'm sure he knew that was his mom. So it was for him to even – yeah, that's what I'm saying. For him to violate like that, it must have been a personal vendetta. Allegedly, you know, violate. Allegedly. Yeah, yes. Allegedly. I mean, do y'all think it happened? But I, I don't know, but I can tell you. <laughs> nah, you're gonna go I don't. Into it. I don't think it happened. You just think I'm going to pull something like that out of midair? Like, come on, LeBron got too much power for something like that to, resur- to surface and resurface and still be, I ain't going to say relevant, but it was never said that it didn't happen. And then, you know, after this happened, like, Delonte West's career became real short afterwards. I don't even think he played, like, a whole other year after this uh, alleged incident happened. And then his whole life turned he, around for the worse. Nah, then he came back and he was playing with LeBron, like, two nah, years later. I don't think so. Yeah. We got to check, so we gotta check the records. After that. Did he play with Boston? Yeah, I but then, he played with Boston before he played with uh, – Or was it before? Cleveland. Yeah, okay. he played with Boston before Cleveland. Before he ended, I think he ended up with LeBron again. Did he? So, yeah, uh, I think he did. Nah. We got to we nah. got to check the records. We got to check the records. I can't. Yeah. Remember. I can't. I can't remember. We got to check. So the I mean, is it really about what if she? All right. So not even just saying his mom. What if anybody's mom like was in love, or could you accept that, or would you no, be forced to, to? Would you be forced to accept it, like? No. What if they not? What if they not friends though? Like they, you ain't my bro. You just somebody on my team. Cause you know a lot of people. In the nah, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't no, matter. Violation, I mean, man. You, yo, some of moms can look, you know, good. But the thing is, if you 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 you're on a team, y'all supposed to be brothers. You know what I'm saying? Even if y'all just starting out, y'all in one way or another, you're gonna end up being brothers. So you can't look at your brother's moms, man. You know, and if you do, you just can't. You can't act on it. You know, <laughs> you that's can't crazy. Act on it. <laughs> you know, that's because you. Now, for real though, could you imagine that? Could you imagine us being that state on the basketball team, and me walking down, <laughs> me walking in Perry Air with your moms? Come on, Come on man. man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> could you? But imagine? now, yo, I, yo, I go front. Luck Miles is a very beautiful. <laughs> yo, you wildin', yo. <laughs> yo oh, wildin'. Wow, man. <laughs> Hey, no, yeah. for, real. for real. She was a very beautiful lady. You was about her age never... when we was at state too. I mean, no, <laughs> oh, no, no disrespect. None taken. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> None taken. But oh, I would never dang, you know, disrespect 
a teammate by, you know, even thinking about hollering. Yeah, that's crazy. It's just certain stuff you just can't do, man. Certain stuff you just can't do to that's that's violation. Nah, man. Come on. Cause I remember Reg came and was like, yo, you seen that lady? Yo, that's my small man. Yo, chill, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't, it, look, I don't, I, I don't think I ever seen your mom really. So I probably ain't even paid no mind. So you ain't gotta worry about that for me. That's good. Like, I'm glad, I'm glad my mom's was always working and stuff, but she ain't have no time to come in that much. But you know, it's crazy though, and it's not, it's, it's all subject, but not really all subject. I was at. <laughs> I was at work one day, dude walk up on me. Now I'm out here in VA. Like, yo, you from New York? I'm like, yeah. He like, uh, what's your mother's name? I'm looking at like your homeboy. Where we go with this? <laughs> he like, your last name Tucky, right? I said, nah, my last name Turpin, you wild and fan. He was like, oh, I, I used to date a Tucky back in the day in New York. I said, nah. <laughs> like, how do you even ask somebody that? I don't care if I did. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, if I seen you three years from that, like, you dating somebody and they had a teenager. And you see them say when they 30, I'm not bringing your moms back up, man. You say hello or say what's up and keep it pushing. I'm not bringing your mother back up. Well, what happened if, happen if I dated your mom when you was a baby and you don't remember me? You know what I'm saying? But I remember you and I'd be like, yo, what up? Yo, man, I can't man, say what's up. No, don't say what's up to me. I'm, keep pushing. I might be your stepdad, you know? Nah, I mean, shit. Wow, nah. <laughs> All right, so like on a, on a, on a serious note, <laughs> So is is all family off limits? Well, like all families, off. all families off limits. Nah, you nah, you could date you could date my cousin, and you might be able, you might be nah. able to I mean, date my, y'all 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 date my sister. Y'all seen Scarface? You might be able right? to date the my sister. Movie Scarface. Seen Scarface? Yeah, we've seen it. Seen, I haven't. And you seen how Tony seen and Scarface? Manolo? I've never seen Scarface from wow. from Paul's Super Paul's from front to back. I've never seen uh, Scarface. Wow. So you know the situation I'm talking about, how you know they was brothers. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and he fell in love with his sister and it's, married her. And he killed them. You know what I'm saying? Based on mm-hmm. him sleeping with his sister. So I mean, why are sisters off limits? I didn't say I didn't say that. That's between no, y'all. No, we though. said family. We said Don't family. drag me, don't drag me and y'all mess. I might give you so, the benefit of the doubt with a sister. You know. My mother's a sister. No, we ain't talking about mom no more. Depends how close you even... depend how close you and your friend is, you know, with the sister. You know, you just like, you know, hey, what's up? You know, whatever. You know, but if it's like your brother, someone you with, you know, constant, like, you know, it, I got an issue with it. So especially if you on. think especially if you think you're a dirt bag, like, nah, you ain't messing with my sister. See, that's so, so <laughs> that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. That's, that's why it's all <laughs> That's so, No, but that's totally the difference because. Yo, look, I might have to tell a story. I think, nah, don't tell no story. Tell a story, oh. I think nah, your fears. No I think your fears is your fears, though. I think your fears is your fears. You live and you, you live and you learn. You get what I'm saying? As long as you're not super violating my family, then. Yo, you know, that's something that y'all oh, have to go that's, that's how I look at it. Because you got to think about this. Every time <laughs> your sister want to date somebody or your cousin want to date somebody, and it might be somebody, you know, what you going to keep doing? Oh, no, you can't do this. You can't, man. That's a headache, man. You know. Yeah, I'm trying to hold the story back, man, but it's coming yeah, hold, out my mouth. Tell the love. story. Let's go. <laughs> Super Paul. Let me hear what this story is. Go ahead. Give, give us the story. Oh, oh my you gotta God. You got to say no real names. Just go with the story, I, man. I back in the days when we was in school, there's two dudes hung out. They were thick as thieves. I mean, yo, there was, oh my God, they were doing everything. And they had a lot of girls, you know, mm-hmm. two tall fellas. <laughs> and one of them had a sister. And you know, <laughs> the next thing I know, the other one is dating that dude's sister. You know, but they, I think they, they might have had a falling out, but I think they, they after a while, they squashed it. They patched it up. Get, yeah, they patch it up, but you know. what I'm saying. You live and you learn, yeah. man. Yeah, no, nah, you can't date my sister. Why not? Nah. What if I'm a good guy? You, you ain't date my sister. I know you. <laughs> you little ass. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, no, you can't. You know, I mean, it depends. I know it depends on what stage in your life you're in. Like hey, when you're young, it's different. But as you get older and you see the type different. of person that you become. 
you know, I don't know. You know, I have a sister, so it like I said, it depends. So if on I wasn't married, and I wanted to hook up with your sister. You hook me up. You just said hook up. I'm not hooking you up with nothing. You gonna shoot your own. No, I ain't gonna hook you up. Like I ain't going I ain't gonna block it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like oh, so if I'm at the barbecue it. and I'm trying to holler, you'd be all right with it. It's none of yeah. my business. She grown. My sister's yeah. thirty years old. Man, listen, I'll bust her in the back and side of her head. <laughs> but <laughs> you gotta live. You gotta live and learn, man. You gotta live and learn. No, it's about four, it. four million men out here. You can pick somebody else besides my friend. You're right. A lot of times, it's crazy how a lot of times people, you know, siblings, they grow up seeing your friends and they like have secret crushes on you, you know, yeah. because they're younger and it's, it happens all the time. But it's definitely at some point a violation of bro code, especially if you make it known. No, nah, you ain't, you ain't, and then they still do it. It's different I, if you made it known. I think a violation of bro code, if it's in, you know, I don't want to get too crazy with it. If it's a different generation, don't be 40 something dating my 20, my 20 something year old sister. Yeah. You hung around me when we was 20 years old and she was right. one or two. Now that's crazy to me. Now yeah. I don't do that. Yeah. That's that. I think that's a violation. Something like that is a violation. That's, that's, that's how I look at it. You know, I think, you know, if it's a big generational gap like that, nah, mm -mm. That's when I might have to step in and say, no, this is a no-go. You get what I'm saying? Because your sister might look up to you and by your friend being with you, you get what I'm saying? The, 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 the crush might be natural, you know? But when, but think of a movie, like, when you think of the movie Ace and Mitch, right? Do y'all remember Ace, Ace and Mitch paid him yeah. for it? Mm -hmm. Remember, yeah. he was dating his sister, right? He didn't have a problem with it. Ace was dating Miss Sister, right? And he didn't have a right, problem yeah. with it at all. At all. Because, you know, I guess he was comfortable with it. And then it could I be. I mean, a lot of times it, it falls in. It falls in that way. Like when you're around somebody so long, some people don't have a problem with it. Some people think it's natural. Like you're already my bro. So go ahead. They give you their blessings. But I mean, like I said, it's to each his own. Yeah. And it depends on what part of your life you're in. Like if they know you up to no good, like, nah, you ain't good for my sister. Because they with you all the time. Say, for instance, if I was a drug dealer and you want better for your sister, of course you're not. Nah, uh, hell no. I don't want you a part of that lifestyle. But if I'm doing good in life, I'm a doctor. Like, yeah, you changed. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You got my blessing. So, I mean, I guess it depends on what part of your life you're in and right. what, what mind frame you're in. Like, it takes a lot to see your homeboy date somebody that you love, especially like your sister, and you know the dirt that y'all used to go through and this, that, and the third. So. But think about it, but then you got to start talking different cultures, right? So if you're in a heavy influence gang culture, you probably like, yo, you could date my man, but you ain't dating somebody from this set or something like that. You get what I'm saying? So if that comes in play too. Like, nah, you ain't messing with none of them clowns from Eden Wall or something like that. You get what I mean? You can mess with the guys from here or you get what I mean? Don't go to Harlem picking nobody up or don't go to East Baltimore. Don't bring none of them around here. You get what I'm saying? So it's all your mentality and how you look at it. So what's the what's what's the consequence of violating? You ever think of that? You just don't. You can't be around my circle ever. <laughs> it's over. If it's so, if somebody, I think it depends on the on the bro code because you got you got a lot of brothers who they say they don't care when they really care. So you really, that's why I said, if you don't really explain how you feel or if it's not, you know, a, a, a verbal agreement, a rule, then that's where the problems come in at. Like, but if you know, you know, you know, cause you got a lot of dudes who will be like, yo, you messing with my baby moms and all, like all that stuff is just like crazy because you don't own nothing. Like people never been married before. So it becomes, it becomes real messy. You get what I'm saying now? It's like, well, like I said, if it's every day we together, that's something totally different. But you got people be overly possessive for no reason. I mean, it's unwritten rules, man. Once that rule is broken, man, I mean, we might, we can't be cool no more, you know? Give me one. You know? Say, for instance, even the baby moms. Now, me and you have been tight all our lives, and you know that's my, you know, my baby mother. And we still cool. We hang out, you know, every now and then, whatever. And then now you go and, you know, start dating her. 
I'm not gonna feel comfortable around you no more. So even if the you friendship is the friendship is <clears throat> see it even what if you remarry time Tom doesn't time doesn't play a part in yeah, that. But that but yeah, that's... no. I mean, it depends on how old the kids are. A lot of things goes into that, you know. Okay. My kids still kind of young. You going over there, seeing them, and then once they knew you as like, oh, that's daddy's friend. That's uncle, yeah. That's know? uncle, yeah. You know, so that's <laughs> yeah, you know, you. that's kind of yeah. That's that's definitely that's definitely all, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's violation. Yeah, but could he date? Could he like data? Like you know, like not you date, do date, nothing. but <laughs> you can't do nothing. Yeah, that's violation. Nothing. And I'm telling, and I'm going to straight up and tell you in, in your face, yo, you like sloppy seconds, don't you? <laughs> Come on, man. It can't even be yeah. an just out of sight, out of mind. You heard what I said? No, nah, you like sloppy seconds. No, 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 it's fine. You could do it, but now me and nah. you ain't cool no more. You know what I'm saying? Now you, you're over there in her team. You ain't on my team no more. It's over. What if you right. found out it's later? Over. But if you found that, and, and, and I ain't cool with baby mom no more neither for doing it. It don't matter. They, they you're out of here. You're out of here. Yeah, they both some gone. Real, you got some real personal brothers, yo. So you you yeah. you can uh you can deal no, with that situation. On, you said what? It all you depends deal with that on how oh. long we haven't been together. So now you we ain't been it, together in 15 years. My kids are grown. Now you can do whatever. I don't really care. You nah. know, it doesn't affect me. You know, nah. but if that's I mean, still that's violation. me. That's like you just didn't respect me at all. Period. Right. Come on, man. We could. So you telling me if you had a child at sixteen, and one of your associates or friends met, you know, your lady friend at thirty, that's a violation. Yes. If they knew, if they you knew that's my, my my child's um uh, nah. exactly. As soon as they said my name, you supposed to. Oh, all right. Well, nice meeting you. That's exactly, it. Exactly. Exactly. Once you heard my name was mentioned, that's who I um have a kid with. It ain't supposed to go no farther than that. That's it. Okay. Because that's disrespecting to me. I think if you my homeboy, my friend that I grew up with, and as soon as you find out that I have a child with that person, that's it. It's supposed to be. Yo, how? how I don't understand why people be so possessive over females of childhood fake loves, like. It's broke. No, it's no, bro no. code. It's, no, it's no, about no. bro code. I don't call that bro code. I ain't possessive because I don't. I don't deal with the girl no more. I can care less. My That's thing is more than care less. Then they should be able to move on. Whatever they want to do, less, they should I be able to. I care less move. about her, but he's violating a bro code by doing right, that. Right, right. That's what this whole conversation is about. So I can care who's here, with, but he ain't. He ain't supposed to go there. Cause she I gonna guess. go there because she probably trying to be spiteful. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna mess exactly. with his man's type. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. She, she can go there with it, you know, but he ain't supposed to go there. He's supposed to come to me like, yeah, you know, your baby mom is trying to talk to me. He's supposed to come and give me that information. But if he don't, he violating the bro code. That's that's how I feel. I agree. I'm on. I'm on. I'm coming on. I'm coming on. Seconds. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. It depends on how cool you and that person me. is. You know what I'm saying? That's what yeah, it is. I can feel how I can cool feel, you and that person yeah, is. Yeah, hanging together you, every you're day. In, uh, you're in, you know, yeah, I, I got you. You know, if you and him is really tight, you, you can't. But now if it's just, you know, someone, your friend's friend, that, you know, every now and then y'all together because of him, then, you know, and mm -hmm. your kids are out the house, you, you know, you, your kids don't got, you know, be affected by it. <laughs> Do whatever you want. I don't give a damn. Yo. I don't care if it's Bo, Luck, or O. I ain't talk to none of your ex baby mamas. <laughs> That's it. That's against the rules. Yo, if you met mine, against the rules. You don't even got. You don't. Even, you don't have to even be my friend. If I know you, I don't want to talk to your baby moms. Right. Like for what? It's too many women on earth for me to like focus on your. Then that's your child. Know. Like, nah, I'm not to right. see your child. Nah, let's, nah. It's let's get back to this conversation. We're going to take a break here. You listen to oh. I tell these hoes I don't need them. I let welfare feed them. Underachievers, y'all don't recognize a leader. My vision so panoramic.